Hello, this is Austin from the Austin channel and today I want to make, make a to announce the debut of a new series here on, on the Austin Yerba channel and our new series is called Better Performer and, and starting from now uh, Better Perform each week when with Better Performer a new movie is released and we as our episodes as with our episodes or webisodes we cover one of the actors the main actors or one of the supporting actors in that cast and we have two criterions one uh, better performer that perf that actor or actress featured will have to be in a new movie coming out that week of the episode and two it, it has to be uh, most likely will be a more experienced or seasoned actor or actress for example next July when spider-man homecoming is released the featured actor or actress will be maybe someone like Robert Downey jr. or Marissa Tomei or Michael Keaton being that they're they're there they will be in the movie we will not cover Tom Holland mainly because well I haven't seen enough of Tom Holland um, he hasn't been in much and I don't want to in any way to be fair to the kid I don't in any way want to underrate him or overpraise him so that's why we wouldn't cover Tom Holland until another 10 years from now when he's in more stuff other than just being spider-man so those are our two criterions well that's the first two a third criterion is that when we cover uh that actor or actress we're only going to contrast and compare to other performers of the same gender we do not cross gender so in other words if i ever do which most likely I, this November I will do an episode of her, uh, Kristen Stewart. I will not be comparing her to said someone like Zac Efron. It would only be within someone of the same gender as her. So that those those are our criterions for our series. And this week we we are, we are covering. Denzel Washington, being that Denzel Washington this weekend has a movie out, The Magnificent Seven, and he's the, the lead. And, you know, Denzel Washington, he's been a host of things. Denzel Washington is one of the rare actors out there who's made a successful transition from television to motion picture. And uh, he started on St. Elsewhere, the, the, the medical drama uh, Saint Elsewhere that ran for, that ran during the eighties for six seasons from nineteen eighty two to nineteen eighty eight. Uh, Denzel, ha Mr. Washington, he has been nominated. He's has won two Oscars, with a total of six Oscar nominations. And given that he's going to have a new movie this Christmas called Fences, and there's talk of Oscars behind that one, wouldn't be surprising if Denzel gets. A seventh nomination and maybe and maybe even who knows a, a third Oscar but uh, let's say let's start first should we start with Denzel we're doing Denzel who's a better performer than him or who he's a better performer than them well you know what fuck it let's let's start with who who's who Denzel is a better performer than them I would say Will Smith I mean, okay, Denzel to some degree can get into characters. He can get into his character and bring intensity and make you feel that, like, yeah, that's the character, and yes, he's born to play this role. Um, whereas Big Willie, no offense, you know, Big Willie is just always Big Willie in everything he's in. I mean, okay, yes, I do watch the guy. I do watch Will Smith. I do enjoy him, but I mean, that's I'm just saying the God's honest truth. Um, now, who's a better performer than Denzel? Is well, the one, the only Russell Crowe. I mean, don't get me wrong. Denzel and Russell, they both are Giuseppians. They can get into character, but uh, 
you know, Russell Crowe. I don't know if he's, I don't think he's ever been knighted. I, I don't know why I get the feeling I want to call him Sir Russell. That's just weird. But okay, uh, Russell Crowe is just, you know, the method, method actor's method actor. He's that, you know, you know, he's the method actor that other one dim one dimensionals who play themselves love to hate, you know. And uh, Russell has, I believe, he's got uh, he's a he he's an Oscar winner too, just like Denzel. He won one Oscar for Beautiful Mind, and I think he has a total of three nominations. Yeah, I, you know. But you know, that's my opinion. You know, I think Russell Crowe is a better performer than uh, Denzel Washington. And Denzel Washington is a better performer than Will Smith. So uh, I would that that's this week's episode. Next week's episode, well, we will have two episodes, back to back episodes, and with the release of upon the release of. Uh, Deepwater Horizon, we will have Mark Wahlberg. I mean, yeah, we could do Kate Hudson and maybe we should do John Malkovich and Kurt Russell, being that they're in the movie, they're all in the movie too. But, you know, Mark Wahlberg, I'm, I'm a fan of Mark Wahlberg. So, heck, I'll do an episode where there's Mark, I'm, of someone I'm a fan of. We will do Mark Wahlberg. And we'll also, we also, that week, next weekend, we also have. Uh, the Tim Burton film, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. And we will cover Eva Green. I, I say, well, she is a seasoned actress, and that would be a bit of a challenge. I mean, there's plenty of people I could say she's a better performer than they are, but that would be a bit of a, a, a challenge to say who's a better performer than Eva Green. But that's th this week's episode, and see you next week.